Hey, gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional. This is our last one in the book of Daniel. We made it. Uh, next time, we're going to be in the book of First Timothy. I'm excited about this. I've entitled the series, It's Time to Clean Up the Church. So let's do that together. But today, we're going to dive into Daniel chapter 12. I'm going to read verses 5 down through verse 9 with a little bit of color commentary so you can follow along. Now, remember, Gabriel's gone. All right, Daniel's by himself, and then it says, I, Daniel, looked, and behold, two others stood, one on this bank of the stream, because remember, he's looking out at a stream, and one on that bank of the stream, and someone said to the man clothed in linen, so he hears a voice, and it's speaking to a third man, a man in linen, he was above the waters of the stream, and the question is, how long shall it be till the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the stream. He, he raised his right hand and his left hand toward heaven and swore. So he's making a promise. He swore by him who lives forever, that's God, that it would be for a time, times, and half a time. This is the disclosure of how much time right here. We also read this verse in Revelation chapter 12, verse 14. And that when the shattering of the power of the holy people comes to an end, all these things would be finished. I heard, but I did not understand. So Daniel's confused. Then I said, oh my Lord, what shall be the outcome of these things? And then he said, go your way, Daniel, for the words are shut up and sealed until the time of the end. Oh guys, uh, there is so much in this text today. I could spend so much time here because People love to get lost in this text. I mean, literally lost in it forever. <laughs> but here is the essence of it. We are not going to understand this one entirely until the time of the end. We're just not. Because there are things that God wants to tell us, but we will not understand until they happen. And we have to get over trying to understand them because there are reasons why he, God, doesn't want us to know until the time is right. So let me make this really simple for you today. Uh, do you remember that movie, uh, The Karate Kid? Okay, of course you do. Hopefully you do. There was this long sequence in that movie at the beginning where Daniel LaRusso came over to Mr. Miyagi's house for some karate training. Remember that? But Mr. Miyagi had Daniel doing all these chores around the house, like sanding his deck in the backyard and, and painting his fence and uh, waxing his cars. Well, come to find out, there was a reason for all this. He told him to do these things without telling him the ultimate meaning behind it because what he wanted from Daniel was willing obedience. Obedience, that was it. He even declared this to him at the beginning. Yet when the time was right and his willingness and obedience were matured and tested, Mr. Miyagi revealed the purpose behind the activities. Miyagi connected Daniel's training and his disciplines and his obedience to the purpose and then all of a sudden, everything made sense for Daniel. I think that this is what the man in Lenin is telling Daniel. He's saying, I have told you enough. Stop worrying about the future. Concern yourself now with obedience because you can't handle knowing at all right now. But when it does happen, Daniel, you will know. God's going to connect all the dots for you. You know, fellows, no matter how much we know about the future, and what the phrase time, times, and half a time means, we have to remember that the limits of our knowledge will always take us to the cliff of faith where we have to take a leap and trust God. God's never going to tell us everything because it leads to arrogance and it removes our need to trust in him. So get comfortable with being uncomfortable and just be obedient to God today. In the words of the man of Lenin, or in my mutilated version of what he said, just get out there. That's not for you to know, but you will know when the time is right. And that's where we end Daniel, right there. Just be obedient, fellas. That's it. <laughs> so guys, I've loved being with you in this series, but get ready for more. We're going to start First Timothy tomorrow.